Hi, I'm Julia de Vera Beauty and today let's talk about the Pupa Milana Multiplay Eye Pencils. The application, the pigmentation, the stain power and of course the traditional thing on this channel, how to get more product out aka how to sharpen them. So I got these in four colors right here, 13, 59, 03 and 31. On one end they are regular eye pencils, on the other end they have the sponge that you can use to correct things. First of all, I already have 13 and 59 on my eyes today. Let's go for the hand swatches now. Here is 13. As you can see, it is pretty pigmented when swatched. It is really metallic. Next comes 59. A very unique metallic green. Now we have 03, a slightly teal-leaning blue. And we have 31, which is a cooler based violet. Purple, blue, blue and green. As you can see, they're pigmented when swatched. Let's try to do a smudge test. They did smudge a little bit, but not a lot. The reason why I decided to pick up these eyeliners in the first place, despite the fact that I do have a lot of them, is because the colors are really very unique. This green does not have a single dupe in my collection, so it's a light green, but it's not yellowish. This metallic tealish blue also does not have a single dupe, so usually the blues are either darker or they're completely teal, or they're more like cobbled blue, royal blue. Now this one, the denim blue color is super unique, have never seen any like that, and uh, this cool toned violet probably is not so unique as it seems but honestly I always have a problem finding like a medium toned uh, cool purple because all the purples I seem to be finding usually are either leaning to the warmer side or they are very dark or very light. As you can see they apply pretty smoothly and they're really pigmented but what about their staying power especially in super oily lids like mine which is always a problem so at first I didn't want to risk and I just bought this violet pencil and then I went out and bought the other uh, three which as you can already understand means that the stain power is decent. I was also wearing the number 13 and 03, the two blue pencils, in my mascara tutorial video. But let me tell you a bit more about it. It's not the best of the best stain powers. So if you're looking with super oily lids, you're looking for an eyeliner that will stay like all day without budging, sadly this is not the one. However, the stain power is pretty decent. What I mean is that on super oily lids, without retouching, like without primer, without eyeshadow, without the eyeliner lasting hack that I showed in one of my videos linked in description, they will last on super oily lids anywhere between like four and six hours, depending, well, depending on weather conditions, depending on what you do, like if you're running around a lot or if you're just sitting there calmly and not sweating at all. After that, most likely, they will need to be retouched, which is totally possible with them. So what I usually do uh, with this kind of pencils, and like to me they're worth it because the colors are very unique. Had there been just, you know, very basic colors, I don't know, just like a black eyeliner, I wouldn't have gone for a black eyeliner like this because there are plenty of them in the market and I just can pick the ones that last really well on oily lids. So as for these, I think the colors are worth it and what I usually do is like in the middle of the day if I see that they're starting to print on my upper lid, they're starting to fade off, I just go wash my hands, carefully wipe my upper lid with my finger, blot it with a paper tissue, it doesn't have to be a blotting paper, it can be an ordinary paper tissue, and then just carefully retouch, reapply the eyeliner. So I think they're totally worth it and let's now see how do you sharpen them after you have used them a couple of times and they're already blunt. I have never sharpened these two yet, so that's what they look like when they're new, they're just a little bit more blunt. And as you can see, this thing looks like plastic. So what are you supposed to do? Retract them? No, they don't seem to twist. Actually, you just use a regular cosmetic pencil sharpener for cosmetic pencils, not for the pencils that you use to draw on paper. This is important because cosmetic pencils are softer and so they can break from an ordinary pencil sharpener. Just start turning them. See this seemingly plastic thing comes off and you're left with a super sharp pencil. And just so that you know, I have already sharpened these two before and they're doing just fine. 
Just as one more example, let's sharpen this blue one. Twist, twist, twist. Uh-huh. Now that you know how pretty these are but that they may not last all day, check out this hack that will make them do so. See you there. Bye.